<laughs> Hi, my name is Laurie Larson Dorito, and I'm a CODA. I've been practicing for 40 years. I was licensed back in 1984. Currently, I'm working for Quaybog Rehab Skilled Nursing Care Facility. So what I want to talk about is my passion, which is occupational therapy. OT has been around, believe it or not, since the 18th century. We initially started off being advocates, human rights advocates, for patients who had mental illness. At that time, people were thrown into prisons and asylums, and they were pretty much treated as animals with no rights whatsoever. OT came in there and said, listen, if you give somebody a purposeful activity, make them feel like they are somebody, then that person's recovery, their behavior, and their emotional status is gonna change and improve. At that time, we started to evolve and we became more familiar in World War II. We were actually sent out there to help soldiers who were wounded and give them, again, purposeful activity, making them feel that they are part of society no matter what challenge that they incur. OT is a fantastic profession. It's evolved tremendously over the past 100 years. When I first started 40 years ago, um, Primarily, it was used with mental health. As an OT, I become a team member with my patient and their family because my main job is to get that person back to where they were prior to some sort of traumatic event, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, or developmental. Everybody wants to be able to take care of themselves. Everybody wants to be productive in their community. Everybody wants to feel wanted. And when something traumatic happens to you, again, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, developmental, you lose that opportunity, that identity of who you are. OT does a great job. We go in there, we assess a person, we find out what their plan of treatment needs to be. And at that point, we provide coping strategies compensatory strategies and adaptive equipment so that they can function in the least restrictive manner in their environment. We're there to help a person thrive. We're there to give person dignity back again after they've lost it. I always say to my patients, don't tell me you can't do something. Ask me, how can I do something? That's what OT truly promotes is the humanity aspect that everybody, no matter who they are, where they are, what their beliefs are, what they look like, what their capabilities are, are part of an inclusive environment. It's a wonderful feeling.